everyone. Today we are diving into a one pot meal. And you're here with me in Jashley's kitchen. That is me. So today, like I said, a one pot meal. We've got a sausage and sweet potato bake. It is very easy. I love easy. And I also love that I don't have to wash so many dishes after. So this is a pretty bomb meal. Um, first up, we have got some sausages. Now you can use Portuguese chorizo or Spanish chorizo. Uh, this right here is some chicken sausage. You're gonna need one onion or more because the onion shrinks, so if you like onions, add more than one. We like sweet potatoes, so we've got a medium and a half, so one and a half sweet potatoes here. Um, you're gonna need kind of like a nice handful of parsley. Then for the seasonings, very simple and basic. Uh, salt, pepper, <laughs> and salt. I always do that. Uh, you'll need some smoked paprika, regular paprika, olive oil, and if you want a little bit of spice, you can add in some crushed red pepper flakes um, to add in some spice. Otherwise, if you're using the chorizo, they typically are already spicy. So. Uh, very easy today. So I have preheated my oven to 450 degrees. So that is a perfect time to do that is to preheat it before you get to chopping. Uh, parsley goes off to the side. We are going to slice the sausages, cut up the onions into slices, into nice rounds. And we're going to slice the sweet potatoes into half moons. So I'm going to get right to that and I will show you everything, what it looks like at the very end. So see you in a few minutes. Alright, we're back. Uh, so what I've done was cut these into, I guess, I don't know, quarter inch half moons. Um, the onions also in a similar way. And then the sausage is sort of cut into about half an inch thick. Uh, lovely dangles. I just find it looks nice. Uh, so the next step It's fairly simple Just toss everything inside So what I didn't mention at the beginning was garlic um, That's optional, but of course It's a must for all the dishes that I make So just did about two or three garlic cloves. I uh, didn't mince them too finely just big enough so that we can taste it. So I'll toss the garlic in there. Right there. Put the sausage on top. All right, so now there are a lot of onions and baked potatoes, so you can always use more than one uh, sausage link if you'd like. So we're gonna season that with olive oil, a couple tablespoons, some Pepper. I'm going to grab a nice pinch or two of salt. A couple of tablespoons of the smoked paprika. And then if you want to add in um, some spice, then this is where you can add in your crushed peppers. And you don't necessarily need the parsley now, that's sort of just as a garnish for later. But there we go, I'm just gonna grab these to mix it around so I don't have to get my hands all sloppy. Try to keep everything in the bowl. So you pretty much just mix everything up, uh, throw it in the oven, adding seasonings um, as you need. So I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil. And it's going to bake for about 40 to 50 minutes. So it's one of those easy meals to make, um, not a lot of prep work, and you could just throw it in the oven, leave it there for about an hour, and then it's all done. So I'm gonna get this in there. I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what this lovely bake looks like at the end. All 
All right guys, so 50 minutes later, this actually took me actually more like 45 minutes uh, later, the food's done. So what you can do to serve is um, either with some mixed vegetables. So last time we had this, it was with some zucchini, um, the green and the yellow zucchini, and we had some broccoli as well. It was really good. Today, we're just gonna keep it simple, one pot only, and we're having it with just a salad to add some greens. So this pot, still hot, literally just came out of the oven. So I'm gonna go from the bottom to grab some of the sauce. Toss it in there. I'll get some sweet potatoes. There we go. And you can always sprinkle some of that drizzle, uh, some of that sauce that's at the bottom of the pot. And right here I've got some homemade salad dressing. Let's toss that in. For the final touch, you could do like salt bay and just sprinkle some parsley all over the food. And there we have it. You've got your one pot bake, your sausage and sweet potato meal. It smells so good. Thanks for watching. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next time in my kitchen. See ya.